Hello boys and girls, it's been a bit longer than usual, but part 11 is here. Now this one is a short one, but I go through the power steering pump, the alternator, the intercooler, the air intake, and other little stuff here and there. And I get closer to mounting the oil catch cans, or actually making a decision where to mount them. But that's going to be in the next one, part 12, and I actually have to make brackets for the three oil catch cans that I will mount in different spots. All right, remember to subscribe, comment, like the video, or dislike, do something. Enjoy! Okay, quick recap. Kind of didn't feel like recording everything. I just put some music on and just did a bunch of stuff. Figured I would just show you. Had several issues as always. So we got uh, fuel lines. The e no more EVAP, remember. EVAP will just kind of hang out here. Okay, this line is open. These two are brackets for the inner cooler. This is uh, the boost gauge. This is the uh, the blow valve, but it goes the pressure the air goes back into the intake, which is the into the turbo inlet pipe. Here, hooked up the vacuum lines for the turbo, cleaned up the boost solenoid, just cut out a uh, a new sponge. Well, you saw it. Don't need to buy new stuff. Plugged in the harness here. Now the pre the problem is two is two problems. This bracket here, I cannot install it this should go underneath more or less underneath there basically behind this so this nut should hold this uh, coolant tank in place but the problem is I would be only this fits because this part here should fit here which it does on the 06 but it doesn't on the 07 TGV, remember? So on the, on the 07, these are no longer there. So can't do, I, I can either figure out a new bracket, or what I did was, this is still holding on just fine with the two bolts, and then these lines, see everything, all this stuff is mounted on that bracket. So this is pretty stiff over here, I, I probably don't need to do anything with these lines. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll, I'll make a bracket. I got a... I can put a bolt in here or or in there. But we'll see. But that that's for later. Still gotta do the PVC stuff, the oil catch can here. These will go into the reser reservoir tank. And now the second bigger problem is this. The turbo inlet pipe is much bigger here and it barely fits. Well, it, it almost it doesn't. Look what I gotta do here to put this in. And it's basically, and it's touching the, uh, or resting on top of the power steering pump, which is an issue. I don't know if they sent me a wrong one. This, I did order it for an 06 STI. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know this, this silicone it's tough, tough material. I might just uh, shove something in there. I mean, there is no these are these edges are not sharp at all. But maybe I'll just uh, I don't know. Got to figure something out. So I ended up reusing this bracket, although it's only gonna hold on on this 12 mil bolt here to the intake manifold. Still better than nothing. All I did was I cut this piece off. This was in the way. It kind of, it's gonna hold each other together. Okay, another update. So this is much better after putting that bracket in. And like a dumbass again, I ran this harness underneath the turbo inlet pipe. It should be over. So I had to take the pipe out, you know, disconnect it right here. Disconnect the blow up valve then it's actually fairly easy to pull this out. You don't need to take the intake man manifold off to install these. 
you do have to take these off if you take the stock one off and on but not for the pairing ones because it's so it's so flexible anyway so I ran the harness over there is more room somehow for the power steering pump now it's still touching the inlet pipe this line it's it hardly fits I mean if, if I push it then it does fit the banjo bolt will go in but I'm gonna leave this for now I need to plug these up this connector here I'm not using it that's for the PVC valve which would connect to here so yeah so the turbo inlet pipe is back in everything is back in now I'm gonna plug these up I gotta think of a way I got one two three and four I am NOT using any of these once I plug this up I'm gonna finish this area up install the intake the air intake and kind of finish this side so then I can decide where I'm gonna put that first oil catch can and I gotta run a half inch heater hose from here and I need to know which way I'm gonna go and this is the heater hose in question here So this is where we're at right now, half inch hose, I'm going to cut it to length later, got to still figure out where that oil catch can is going to be, one, your two, three, and four plugs, I'm going to tidy this up, secure these lines here, hoses, and install the intake. All right, another update, uh, 5 8 I believe, yeah, 5 8 another heater hose for uh, the second uh, oil catch can which, which, which connects to the block, this one is uh, the passenger side head, so head, block, as you can see the intake is installed, I don't like this, it is much better, the band is here this is the tight fit here it's the turbo inlet pipe it is touching also here the intake a little bit but it's not touching any sharp uh, parts of the power steering pump well it, the, the pump doesn't have any sharp edges yeah so I, we do have a dent over here I don't know why I did order this for an, an 06 STI um, I don't know everything fits nicely the inlet and outlet seems uh, the right size I don't know maybe there's something I don't know but that's gonna be I'm gonna leave it like that I don't think it's gonna be a big issue I am gonna be changing the turbo sometime maybe next year or you know I, I've noticed it's it's uh, starting giving out that's when I'm gonna change it I don't want to be spending uh, money on two turbo inlet pipes power steering hose is installed this banjo bolt here for the pressure line that torques down to 28.9 i just did 29 this guy plugged in i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna do the alternator
Okay, alternator is in. There's a little bracket here. This one here, I actually cleaned it up and painted it. But it was all for nothing. And this one here, there's actually bolts in right behind the pulley on the power steering pump. And this screw, this guy here and another one here somewhere would be holding down this nice little cover. But this is no longer needed. Actually, it would be nice to have it, but it's going to be in the way. In the way of the oil catch can, which is going to be at least one here. Now, as you can see, the inner cooler is back, just kind of figuring it, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the other two oil catch cans. I would like one to be here, but I just remembered the strut bar goes right across here. So that's not going to work out. And I don't want to be unscrewing it, you know, during a hot day with the turbo right there. So most likely one here and two here maybe. We'll see. Still debating. But I gotta say, this intercooler... 13 years old, man. And look at the state of it. Since it will be much easier to install the downpipe first before the intercooler, I decided to take care of the everything underneath the car. So remember, the gasket, that's it actually stayed on the turbo. I'm gonna, I'm leaving it there. But actually, it never came off the turbo. So I'm gonna spray this, uh, this gasket maker, on the downpipe just to make sure it seals up better. So this is a high temp sealant copper. Ready to go. Just torque these down to 11.7 these two okay so you just saw me install the intercooler two clamps on here I got a new uh, new pipe over here because I used the one that I was that was there I used here and I just noticed whoops you know I needed one for here two clamps for this elbow pipe here and two mounting points for the intercooler and I did change Remember this little hose was under going underneath the intake and up to here. I decided I'm gonna go this route here Simply because I felt like I can secure it better right over here and This nipple here this factory nipple what I did I made a little flange I heated up the tip and I knocked in ever so slightly a nail to open up the opening of the nipple just to flange it a bit and a zip tie. This cannot come off, you know, during racing or open throttle, whatever. The fuel pressure regulator uh, line, vacuum line. Yeah, these seem a bit too tight, these zip ties. I'm gonna redo them. All right, so like I said, kind of a short one this time, but I am getting closer and closer. I reckon maybe two more episodes, maybe three, maybe more, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching.
See you soon.